guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at a uh, another one of the KFC cassettes. Uh, this is their second main release of uh, of their cassettes. This is Iron Paw, aka Steel Jaw. Uh, again, another one of Blaster's cassettes. Um, there's really no point doing most of the Decepticons cassettes because they did the bulk of them with with the uh, <coughs> Masterpiece Soundwave. Um, but they are doing a uh, I don't remember the, his name, but he was a little dinosaur. Can't think of his name right now, but. Um, there's, there is, I forgot to say in my Rhino review, there are several versions of him, just different colors. Um, they're doing several versions of this guy in different colors. There's like an evil version if you want the evil version and a good version and take a shattered glass version. So whatever version you want, you can get. Um, this guy has less detail in terms of cassette mode. You can see the reels, the, uh, the holes for this, you know, for the spindles to spin the cassette reels, and you do see the cassette reels on the inside in there. But other than that, that's it. There's no labels. There's no side A, side B. It's a lot cleaner looking of a figure, uh, and overall, he's a lot nicer. So you have nothing really to say about him in cassette mode. So to start the transformation. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab this silver bit and pop it off, and these are gonna become the weapons. What you want to do is split them, which is easier said than done. Alright, so what I did was I just put a tweezer in there and pried it apart. Um, so here we have the guns. They are folded up, and they are a pain in the butt to get out. So I literally tried everything trying to figure out how to open these things up. I stuck knives, I stuck pins, I stuck paper clips. Exacto knives, screwdrivers, everything to try to get this out. And I finally found a way to do it. So what you want to do is take a blunt object, use one of these jeweler screwdrivers, just a little screwdriver. Whatever you have that's blunt. And you don't want to go in the barrel. What you want to do is you want to put pressure right here. And what you want to do is in an upward motion, flick it. Just keep doing that. Until eventually, the gun pops out. You are going to mar the plastic. There's nothing you can do about it because they're just in there way too tight. So repeat for this gun. Again, you want to do it right here and then push up as you do it. And then you'll get it. Again, you'll see I kind of messed up the plastic on there. But there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. So put the guns off to the side, don't need the screwdriver anymore. Come back to the figure. I start by gripping right here and pull till it snaps and don't worry about it. that's where the head's gonna be and this is basically the main which is pretty cool but don't worry about that for now uh, come over here split these legs just be careful there's a little tab in there right there that holds the legs together kind of flip that up and flip everything down lift the wings up there's a tail in there Kind of want to grip the tail and just fold it out for now. It's easier to get it out now. Flip the feet around. Come in the back right here and just fold this whole thing down. And you can just angle the feet however you like. I like to stand them up and then just push down on the feet and it helps level everything out. Wings you can fold, you can put them out however you want. Um, you notice there's a cut right there and that's where you rest the the main part. Now we gotta get the head out. Again, tweezers help. And then he does have a mouth that you can just open up. It's hard to keep these little guys in focus. So this is face. It's really cool looking. And then we take the guns, and on one side there's a hole, on one side there's a peg, and that's how the legs peg, peg together. That's also how the guns go on. So you just hole, peg, push that in, peg, hole, 
right in there. This one holds a lot tighter on this side than on this side. Head has a tendency to fall. But there we have Iron Paw in his robot mode, or his lion mode. So I really do dig this guy much better than their than uh, Rhino. He's really cool looking. I do like him. I like how the main, the front part more or less becomes the main. Very steel jaw, but very, you know, very nicely updated. Uh, articulation. You can move the hips back here. You can move the ankle, the knees right there, and the feet. Same thing in the front. You can also move these in and out away from the body. Uh, and then the head pivots up and down. Mouth opens, and then you can move, you can position the wings and the tail. So yeah, I definitely recommend grabbing this guy. He's definitely worth this one's definitely worth the money. If you want to skip Rhino, you know that, that I wouldn't blame you for skipping him. He's not great, but he's not bad. But this guy, I definitely recommend picking up. So yeah, this has been the video review. He doesn't need repo labels though. Like he needs like a nice Autobot logo like on his head or something. But uh, could use a little bit of repro love. But yeah, this has been the video review for uh, KFC Toys, Iron Paw.